Good afternoon, folks. It's Brian Pate from the Pate Realty Group uh, coming to you live. Uh, today's discussion is about bubbles and the real estate business. And the reason we're talking about this is because lots of my friends are talking about it. Even the KCM blog picked it up uh, this morning. Uh, just first of all, to update you on the numbers, we are at the no lowest number of listings ever since I have been tracking it since 2009. Uh, we have 6,804 active listings on the market in the Triangle. Uh, again, that's the lowest since I've been tracking it, and that was 2009 that I started then. The average days on the market is 122 days, with the median days on the market of 85 days. That 85 days is where we were back at the beginning of February this year, so we expect to see that drop down as we get more to the spring again. Uh, unless inventory significantly picks up. We're still all driven by inventory right now. There's just nothing on the market, and new construction is probably going to be about 30 to 35 percent of the market next year, and those listings aren't ever put on to MLS. They don't, a lot of times, they don't appear until they're already uh, in the, the uh, post drywall inspection stage. So don't be surprised if you don't see that, and that'll make time on the market even shorter because those houses will go in under contract in most cases with a lot of pre-sales. Um, median list price down to 329 today. That was at a peak of uh, 360 earlier this year, so not surprising to see it drop to that point. Also not surprising to see the, the median and average days on the market go up this time of year. People have just not been looking at property this week, so that's not uh, completely a surprise. A lot of people have asked me about this bubble thing going on, and, and we're, we're nowhere near where we were a few years ago in 2005 and 2006. Back in 2005, people were buying homes. They weren't doing anything to them. They were just holding them. They'd literally buy them in December of 2005, and they'd turn around and sell them in March of 2006, and they'd make fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 profit without even doing anything. That's not happening right now. That's the epitome of the spe of speculative, and it, it's just not where we are right now. Um, although there are some flippers that are in the triangle housing market here in Raleigh-Durham, there's just not a lot of them because prices have escalated so quickly. So you really can't make your money off of a flip these days. So there are fewer and fewer flips. Um, the flips are down about 8% from where they were last year. We're just not seeing that many of them. Um, there are a significant number of homes that are being purchased by investment groups, and that's what we see a lot of people purchasing up investment property. And of course, with the stock market inflated at over 24,000 points uh, right now and, and rising over 5,000 points this year, that is not a surprise. So uh, a lot of people, a lot of the experts, now I'm not an expert in the stock market, so I'll tell you that, but a lot of the experts in the in stocks and bonds are going to tell you that the, the market is overinflated and we're ripe for a correction of about 15 to 20% on that. So don't be surprised if you see that drop down into the $19,000 to $20,000 range at some point over the next year. Um, the big key to the real estate market right now is the demand for homes under $250,000. You just cannot find new construction for under two hundred fifty. dollars There are a couple of uh, outlying areas that are going to start with that, but for the most part of them, uh, you, you're just not going to find it. So uh, first-time home buyers are having to buy a home that is 15, 20 years old in most cases and fix it up in order to be under that 250000 mark, or they're having to go so far outside of the Raleigh and Durham city limits. They're having to go down to, to Clayton or out to Nightdale or in some cases even Youngsville. Youngsville is going to be ripe for a boom as the US-1 corridor is completed over the next 10 years. So there's a lot of people investing in Youngsville right now. But uh, that's the biggest challenge is finding homes that are underneath the um, uh, underneath that $250,000 mark. Hold on, we got a question here. Um, oh, tr Tracy's watching me at the car from her car while they're looking, while showings are going on her house. So um, if you're selling right now, it's it's still a great market, and that's the case. You know, Tracy's house is down and done. I think that's where you are, if I remember correctly. Um, but in that area, and it's surrounding the Triangle Market, we're in very good shape as far as sellers are concerned. But it's a very difficult market for home buyers, especially first-time home buyers. Millennials beginning to turn 38 years old in 2018, and they are uh, saddled with some debt from school 
and from car debt and things like that. So they're going to have to get that under control in, in order to be able to qualify to purchase a home. And so that's going to be our biggest challenge the next year. But we are not in a situation where we've got the, the big short, if you saw the movie. Uh, we don't have that situation going on anymore. So we are, we are seeing at least quality loans made, and they're not ridiculous numbers. Uh, being, you know, we're not seeing the 125% loan to value ratio that we were seeing back in 2005. So that's the good news. So all in all, expect the market to continue as it has been. If you're thinking about selling your home in the next six months, go ahead and give me a call this week. Let's at least get it on the radar because it's going to be a great opportunity to sell in February and March as the spring market is going to explode. And we're going to go back down to seeing average time on the market of 10 to 14 days in some in some cases. So give me a call. Let's get the ball rolling for you. Hope you have a happy new year. I will be doing um, a, a video next week to go over the first, uh, the preliminary annual numbers. We'll be doing that on the 4th. So expect to see that about one o'clock in the afternoon. That's going to be the target. So hope you have a great new year. I'm sure I'll probably see you one more time via video here before the new year. But if for some reason I miss you, I hope you have a happy new year and I hope you had a great Christmas and Hanukkah as, as the holiday season has come through. Take care and have a good one.